Okay, here's my setup. I just powered on the VFD. It is controlled by 220, 220 volt. And then I have that wired. My house was built in the early 90s, so there is only three wires. So therefore there is black, red, and the ground, which is the green. The neutral white wire in the newer houses uh, would technically be the fourth, but this one doesn't have it because it's older. So I have verified that is proper uh, from a professional electrician. This is correct. These wires up here go to my uh, CNC controller and my PC and those uh, are not working properly either, but that has nothing to do with running the spindle manually. If you look at these three wires, um, they are the black, white, and green, which are U, V, and W. You can see the letters there. Those are wired correctly to the top of the spindle. Uh, as I showed you in the pictures, there was uh, the fourth pin did not have a connection on the other side inside the body, but it is technically grounded from the metal body to the whole system and the chassis is all grounded. I have verified that and it is all good. This is the little spindle I had before that and I was doing some test cutting. This one obviously is having issues, so I will show you running it manually what happens when you turn it on. Sorry, this camera won't focus. Okay, so I prop it up so you can actually see it. Now, it's uh, the dial is all the way down and if you hit run, it's all the way down so it actually won't spin. And as I increase it just a tiny bit, you can see it kind of hesitating when it spins. Turn it up. And as soon as you turn it up right there, air overcurrent on acceleration, and that's that only reaches like 400 RPMs, and then it freezes, obviously. And you hear the little click. And then, so if I turn it back down, clear the air, and if I turn it back on, and let it run very slow, You can see it reaches, you gradually turn it up, it always stops right there. And that's the error over current and which is trying to be the constant speed. So uh, this just will not work. Hopefully that's enough for you guys. Oh yeah, you want me to show you parameters. So I'll stop it, clear the error. If it'll clear, there it goes. Turn it back all the way down. If you go to program, the settings, well, there's a whole bunch of them obviously, but uh, I haven't messed with any of them except for what you guys have told me to. And uh, number four and five, I believe is what the email said to verify. You can see it's at 400 Hertz. So that is correct because it is a 220 machine. Uh, that is correct. And then if you go to PD005, same thing, set. 400 Hertz that is correct um, if you need me to check anything else I'd be glad to but I've gone through everything with the proper setup and nothing will uh, nothing seems to work so uh, hopefully that's enough information thank you for trying to help me hopefully that's enough to show you that I, I just need a new spindle if it actually is uh, the spindles bad um, go ahead and let me know via email thank you